Hi, I wanted to demo how Citrix containers with Thin Manager version 12.1, firmware 9.2 can change the way that you interact with Citrix and Thin Clients in general. So we have uh, bundled Firefox and Chrome uh, containers in the latest release of Thin Manager that allow you to use Citrix. So on Windows, you would use a program called Citrix uh, Workspace. We're replacing that with containers here. So that way you can interact with them in the ThinkLi environment on your plant floor or wherever you may be. So I'm going to show you the setup for the display client part of it. So I made this quad uh, virtual screen and it consists of these uh, four, well, four different display clients. Two of them are containers and then I have a camera and a remote desktop. Uh, display client as well, just to show you that we can mix old and new display client types together. Uh, this one will be our Citrix container. I chose the Firefox flavor of, of the container, but there's also a Chrome Citrix container as well. And I'll just kind of show you how to set those up. So you have to choose the, uh, the Chrome option. This will be named differently upon the final release but this is what it's named uh, for some of our testing, the ICA client. I think it will be called Chrome Citrix in the name with underscores. And if you go next, basically the same thing as other display clients until you get here to the selected container host page. Looks a lot like the selected display clients page, except that you're selecting where to run your container. Um, and right here, I checked the box to run the container on the thin client, but of course you could have another thin client that could act as a container server and then run that remotely. Uh, default allocation is one gigabyte. You can go higher if needed. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm using one gigabyte. Um, something to note is that you also have to specify a RAM disk for your container host. So the RAM disk is the same thing as a hard drive, only it's in RAM. And uh, note that the memory of this and the RAM disk should not exceed the physical memory on the device. Uh, if I wanted to, I could put in a start URL, uh, which I have done for my Firefox client. I'll show you what that is right here. I have this uh, Rockwell Automation Citrix environment. That's only accessible internally on our network right here. So what I can do now as I assigned them to these virtual screens. Uh, just to show you, I do have this uh, Chrome container, which is not Citrix, it's just a Chrome web browser, um, just to know with Chrome. And that should be the same name upon official release of the software. So I showed you how to make the container. I showed you the virtual screen display client that we have. Um, just to note, when you go in the virtual screen, when you go, it's just a quad layout. So it's a 1920 by 1080 screen. So it's gonna be a two by two, so two by two. And I assigned my, my different display clients and I made sure that I overrode each of these um, into the actual terminal to show you that. So if I double click on here, overrode each of these with the different resolution. So that way it would use, um, the 1920 by 1080 for each of the display clients. Otherwise, it would have given it the uh, 960 by 540, and it's kind of kind of a weird resolution to work with. So I wanted to kind of show you what the real world would look like. So if you look at my screen, each of these uh, quads on the virtual screen are 1920 by 1080 scaled down. So the terminal configuration is like any other container. You have to enable container hosting. And if you click on the settings button for that, you can initialize the RAM disk size. Now, if you accidentally go over the um, allocated memory, the physical memory, that's fine. It is thin provisioned. So the thin client will not start to act erratically until it goes over that. So if you exceed the physical memory of, of the device, you may get unexpected freezes, reboots, or tabs crashing on the um, the display clients that we have, the uh, the web browser. But in this case, uh, I just put it for my, 
my thin client only has four gigs. So um, it's not a big deal because I'm not gonna exceed the uh, memory. But as you can see here, if I look at my properties, I'm getting pretty close to the physical limitations of memory on the client. And I'm gonna be doing Citrix and I'm gonna show you YouTube um, video playing at the same time with a camera, with a remote desktop session, with a virtual screen, all pretty labor intensive activities. Um, I'm doing this on the uh, 6200T-RE, um, and this is only one monitor out of seven. So uh, the minimum recommendation for hosting any kind of container application or display client on a terminal is gonna be four gigabytes of RAM at least. Uh, you should plan to have at least eight if you're really serious about containers. That will give you some wiggle room to grow and um, allow you to do some more intense uh, web pages. Okay, well, with that said, I, I'd love to shadow the terminal now. So I'm going to go to the shadow tab. We're going to play around with this. So remote view, I'm going to go to full screen. Great. So you can see this is my Citrix container, the Firefox browser. I can log on to my Citrix environment. And then if I go to my App Store, I can open up something like ServiceNow, make a ticket with IT. So what it will do, it will be just like a regular download with Firefox or Chrome except that you're going to open the file. So I choose open, and then you can see that now we're launching our Citrix, um, our version of Citrix workspace within this container. And it will take um, probably about 30 seconds to admit to connect to my application. But when it does, it will display the, the content as if I was doing it on a Windows PC. It's pretty slick. So while that's uh, loading, I'm going to show you our ability to play YouTube videos in another container. This is the Chrome container. So let's look for our Thin Manager videos. Awesome. Click subscribe. Good videos here. So we're going to go with Thin Manager. Then we're going to go to our, our playlist. We're just going to play some videos. Let's play all. Full screen. Okay, you have to always watch your ads and then when you can skip and here you are playing your, your Thin Manager YouTube videos on a container, pretty cool. And you can see here, if I go back to my Citrix environment, I can uh, log into ServiceNow. Now I can submit a ticket from within my ThinkLine environment for IT. Just a note, uh, if you do, you can kind of resize the windows here, but if you minimize it, you lose it forever. We don't have a taskbar. One of the security advantages to containers that it doesn't have access to the desktop. So you really can't do anything to the container and it's really just living in RAM. So you can always reset any point. If you lose power to the thin client, it's gone and it just has to be rebuilt from scratch. So really nice as far as being able to deploy them quickly and securely. Uh, we can close out, we can launch something else if we wanted to from this application. And then here's my camera, and then of course here's my remote desktop uh, connection to my RDS server using RDP. I can launch apps just like I normally would. And here's Microsoft Edge. We don't have an Edge container, uh, but I hope that you kind of found this video useful as far as seeing the uh, capability of the new Citrix container in particular.